How to Sell Digital Products on Google Merchant Center Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell digital products on Google Merchant Center. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Google Merchant Center, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Google Merchant Center, it is a vital tool for e-commerce businesses providing a centralized platform for uploading, managing, and optimizing product data across various Google services, including Search, Maps, YouTube, and Google Shopping, in which this free service enables retailers to enhance their online visibility, making it easier for potential customers to discover their products. So now, to start creating an account, you can simply go to this google.com slash retail and on the top right corner, to start signing up, you can click the link in the description or you could also click the sign in button on the top right corner and click sign in to Merchant Center. Then you will be directed in here or it will ask you, do you sell products online? And I'm going to choose yes and below you can simply enter your store website in here. So you can simply create your own Shopify store as your website and simply enter here the link on this page. But before that, if you don't know what is Shopify, it is a leading e-commerce platform that enables individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores with ease, in which Shopify offers a comprehensive set of tools designed to simplify various aspects of online retail, including product management, payment processing, and shipping logistics. And so from here to start creating an account, just click the login button on the top right corner, and after signing in, you will be able to be directed on this dashboard of Shopify. And it will show you in the left side panel some of the options, but just proceed by clicking this online store in here. And after that, on this online store or website, to simply copy the link of it and paste it in your merchant center in here. And it will ask you, do you have a physical store? I'm going to choose no. Then click the continue button. And after that, from here, it will ask you to connect your Shopify or to connect to merchant center. And I'm going to choose firstly to connect to Shopify so that we can easily sell the products on Google merchant center from our Shopify. And from here, just click the install button to proceed. And after that, the next thing that you need to do is to click Disconnect Google Account in here. In which by simply clicking Disconnect Google Account option in here, you will now be able to be directed on this page of Google Merchant Center and just simply enter here the business name to confirm your business info. For example, I'm going to enter the business name Bronx. But make sure to have a unique business name in here. And after that, just choose your registered country of the business. And also the below, you could also check some list boxes, then proceed by clicking continue to merchant center button below, in which by clicking on it, it will now show you that you have now successfully created your Google Merchant Center account in here. Now on this dashboard of Google Merchant Center, on the left side panel, it will show you some other options we have here overview, notifications, product shipping and returns, business info, store quality and many more. And from here, to start selling a digital products, we can now navigate the option under your business this products option by simply clicking on it under the sold products you should see the list of your products but since i just created my account you'll not be able to see that there is no product added yet and to add one just click add products button but you also need to make sure that you also sign in your shopify account and by clicking the products option right here this is basically the one that we're going to sell as a digital products in our google merchant but let's assume that this is just a digital product so just click again the add products button and after that you'll now be able to be directed on this page and you have here the option to choose either to connect to shopify add products from file use google sheet and also we have here add products one by one and add products using api but in those option i'm going to choose to add products one by one so can i click this add products one by one option and click the continue button below to proceed and after that, just simply choose here a countries that you want to sell your products in and I'm going to choose all countries and click confirm. Then continue button below to proceed in here. And now from here, the next thing that you need to do under product details is to simply enter here the product page on your online store. So just simply go to this product section and let's simply go to our my store. And from here, just simply choose this product right here and let's assume that this is just a digital product since this is the only product that I have on my Shopify store. And just simply copy the link of it and paste it in here directly so for the title you could also start copying this title in here on your shopify store and paste it directly on this page 
but let's assume that this is just a digital product. And also for the description, you could also start copying and paste the description that we can find on Shopify store. And once again, this is, for example, a digital product. You could also add here our product images and many more. Or you can start using the images that you could find on your computer files. So there are different kind of digital products that you could also upload here or sell in here that you already sell on your Shopify store such as ebook, PDF file, other templates and many more. And after uploading the images, all you need to do is wait for it to load and just proceed by clicking the add button below here in which it will automatically be directed on this page. Now the next thing that you need to do is to simply enter the price condition and availability and from here under product type, you can simply enter digital product but since I don't have a digital product on my store, I'm going to enter here the product type, which is bags, for example. And now under category, you could also select a category that you prefer in here. So if you're health and beauty, vehicles, electronics, media, and many more. So once again, let's assume that this is just all a digital product, but I'm going to choose apparel and accessories. And also for this condition, I'm going to choose new. And for the price of it, you could also enter here the price that he also has the same price on your Shopify store in here. But you could also start choosing different kind of currency depending on your preferences. But I'm going to stick to this USD. But you could also change here depending on your preferences in here. Now for the sale price, you could also enter here or leave it blank. Well, under this product identifiers, you could also check these boxes below here if you don't have any of those identifiers. Now from here under language, you could also change your own language and even choose the countries in here you want to sell your products. You could also navigate these marketing methods, which is free listing, and also add the labels in here. Now under this apparel, product details, you can even add a color, a sizes, size type, size system, gender, and any other kind of attributes in here. But when we're trying to sell here a digital product, there are different kind of product details that you need to fill out on this page which also depends on the categories that they choose and also what kind of products are you selling. And aside from that, below here, you could even add a different kind of additional product details, shipping tax and returns, and many more. But in digital products, some of it are not applicable. And now, before we click the save button below, make sure that you also fill out all of the required information in here. But before you start saving the changes below here, and upon doing so, you'll not be able to see here that the product has not been added. And let's assume that this is just a digital product. So from here, it will show you all of the product details of the digital product that you are selling, including the status of it, which is currently processing at the moment. If you're the product page in which if the customer try to click the link, they will automatically be directed on our Shopify store where they can purchase the digital product that we are selling. So basically, Google Merchant Center is important by integrating a Shopify store in which retailers can automatically sync their product listing allowing them to appear in Google Shopping, such as Salt and other Google services. But overall, that is just basically how you can sell digital products on Google Merchant Center. Thank you.